There is some new information on the horizon surrounding in or basically uh, AMD GPUs on Flux. Now, this is exciting stuff because as we've been talking about, there's not a lot of things to move off of for AMD. Uh, and so if they're stuck on, of course, Ethereum right now, moving to other algorithms is going to be more difficult if you are running AMD GPUs. And so getting another option out there is awesome. This is coming from LOL Miner. And we got a screenshot here from the official Flux uh, Twitter, and we have a screenshot basically of LOL minor version 1.55 beta, and it's actually running a RX 6800 showing 61 to about 62 mega solutions per second. This is pretty awesome stuff. I mean, if we went to what to mine, for example, and hit a 6800, it would put us at... 55 hash a second over here is what it's showing. So, you know, getting some more hash out of here. Of course, they're claiming about uh, 20 per, 20 or 20 percent hash rate increase. From what we can see, it's about seven uh, solutions a second. Getting better and better as we move on. So, thanks to LOL Miner and the developers over there for getting to work on that problem here. Obviously, elephant in the room. 6000 series is not something that is widely deployed right now. So, you know, seeing it being tested on a 6800 is like, okay, that's cool. But, you know, that's a special case because the 6000 series has some more core clock to play with than, say, a 5000 series or going back even further to like Polaris GPUs. So I'm not really necessarily sure that this is going to be the best, you know, improvement for the bulk majority of GPUs that are on the network, right? So if we went to our Hive, uh, Hive statistics, let me see if I can find it here and I'll show you guys why I say this. If we look at what AMD GPUs are on the networks right now, you can see 31% is going to be the Polaris GPUs. These are the ones we're worried about. Where are they going to move to? Are they just stuck with Ethereum Classic? Another 10% is basically the same GPU, right? So 41% of all AMD GPUs are that. And then the next big bulk of it, 8% is going to be the 5700 series, which is a bulk of my farm. And, uh, Definitely needs some support for that. Going down the line, though, we do start to get into the 6000 series, so it will be a nice welcoming for the people that are running that. But a bulk majority here is the Polaris GPUs still have that big pending question of what's going to happen with all of the Polaris GPUs at the end of the day post-merge because there's not much else that they're good on. Do they all go end up you know, mining Ethereum Classic with all the ASICs. Is that where they end up? I don't know. That's yet to be seen. But moving on from there, AMD did launch, or not launch, but announced the launch for the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. We have basically official specifications now. They are looking super awesome as far as from a mining perspective as well, because we are getting more cash. So let's go ahead and hop into this. This is on videocards.net. And as you guys can see, uh, or .com, excuse me, as you guys can see, we have the 7950X, the 7900X, 7700, and the 7600X. And up here at the top, uh, top of the line, the 7950X coming in at 80 megabytes of cash. So if we compare that to the 5950X, it's quite a bit more because the L2 cache was eight megabytes and the L3 cache was 64 megabytes, meaning that you ended up with 72 megabytes of cache on the top end, 5950X. So scale that out, you know, basically another 10% and grab yourself 80 megabytes of cache. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much of that's gonna be L3 and L2. Um, I would assume it's probably around the same comparison but you know 80 megabytes of cache on that model is going to be awesome even the 7900x has more cache than the uh, 5950x so from a mining perspective you know things like raptorium i mean even monero stuff like that obviously they benefit from the cache 
seeing more cash is going to be awesome uh, on these. Unfortunately, you know, it's not huge improvements to the amount of cash on these things. It's not like the, you know, that we're getting like double or triple the amount of cash. So unfortunately, you know, really realistically from a mining perspective, you're going to be seeing, you know, anywhere from a 10 to 15% bump. Uh, provided you know the core clock doesn't take away and uh, add a bunch of improvement as well because the core clocks now are going up to 5.7 gigahertz at the top end and even at the bottom end on the 7600X they're going up to 5.3 gigahertz and that can add definitely performance improvements for mining as well so that's good to see. The question I had, of course, is, you know, how, is that all core? Because we're seeing up to 5.7 gigahertz, you know, but is that all core? We're not sure, right? That's not really something that appeared to have been announced um, as far as if it's all core, just single threaded. So from there, you know, we have a 13% IPC uplift over the predecessors and 29% higher single threaded performance. This is mainly from the higher clock speeds now going up to 5.7 gigahertz, which makes me think that it is single threaded 5.7 gigahertz. I don't think that you'll see that across all cores. That's the way I read it and I kind of interpret it. it however, when I was reading other tech tubers and stuff, they were asking this question because it did seem to be vague as far as like what it applies across. Um, like I said, in my humble opinion, it seems like that's going to be single threaded. So there's your new CPU launches that'll be coming out. And that will be September 27th for the launch. So hopefully we'll get some in over here on the son of a tech side and get some testing going. Of course, $700 in a bear market is a ton of money and I got to pay rent. So I don't know if I'll be able to. Hopefully I'll be able to grab some or at least one somewhere for testing to give you guys an idea of how well these new uh, CPUs are going to perform from the mining perspective. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.